what's up my lovely pisces thank you guys for tuning in um this reading is going to be for pisces sun moon rising and venus also check your jupiter check your north node check what signs in your seventh house and check what what house your sun and your venus fall in if you need help let me know hit me up you know um what else oh yeah my email is open for spiritual questions, spiritual advice, spiritual topics you want to talk about on the channel. Also, you can email me about a personal reading or check out the Etsy. Whatever works for you. While I was shuffling your cards, you guys, the Ace of Wands fell out. So I'm wondering if that is going to be relevant at all. <laughs> so we're going to see, though. We're going to see, though. Um, Pisces, again, hit that like, hit that subscribe. Likes are very, very helpful um getting to know each other flipped over okay and as some of you know i'm a pisces north node and a pisces mars so yeah <laughs> all right let's see what's going on for pisces playfulness Ooh, pisces we're gonna see what's going on here though Hopefully we get some new energy. I'm always curious to see what Pisces, what comes out for Pisces. Okay. So we got finances and career. Oh, uh, see, it started out so good. So good. Codependency on the bottom of the deck. Okay. Yeah, everything started out grand. And then it just went south. <laughs> I, won't, I won't call it yet. You know, it's still some time. It's still time. Okay, Spirit, clarify getting to know each other by Pisces, for Pisces in love. Clarify getting to know each other, Spirit. Yeah, I'm not taking all these. However, the Five of Cups is on the bottom. <sighs> okay, so the Love Oracle says, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, um, your bond deepens. So we got the Eight of Cups here, getting to know each other. Um, this is someone that you let go of, Pisces. This is someone you pulled your energy away from. Um, this could also be you guys, someone wanting to come back around and, and have the past be the past. Take it how it resonates, Pisces. Spirit, clarify playfulness for Pisces in love. Clarify uh, playfulness for Pisces in love. And it says, read to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Mm. Clarify playfulness for Pisces in love, spirit. The three of pentacles. Yeah, okay, so maybe you guys need to start collaborating with people. You probably need to start getting out. Um, some of you guys might be starting a new project, too, at work as well um but i feel like you guys some of you guys need to get out of the house and enjoy life seven of cups on the bottom of the day get out of the house to to your level of comfort i think i've told you guys this before get out of the house to your level of comfort okay it doesn't have to be anything you know grand spirit clarify finances and career i think you guys have gotten this quite a bit too i'm not taking all these however the fools on the top is a lot of cards a lot of kings too Ooh. Spirit, clarify finances and career for Pisces. And it says financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Clarify finances and career for Pisces in love. Spirit, if nothing comes out, I will just pull. <sighs> yeah, I'm not taking all these. This is a thick book. At the top was Six of Cups, though, so it might be someone that you guys know already. But we already got that vibe. There we go. Some of you, Pisces, are you burdened by finances right now with this Ten of Wands? You or someone in your energy. It might be a Scorpio, the King of Cups on the bottom. I feel like you guys might be feeling burdened um, at your job. Are you feeling burdened um, with 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 money responsibilities, with your financial obligations? Or it could be someone in your energy, Pisces. Spirit, clarify codependency for Pisces in love. There we go. The Eight of Swords here. Yeah. 
there's a self-imposed codependency here. Somebody has some type of addiction, and I think I feel like the addiction is is um, being being tracked in your thoughts, Pisces. This could be you, or it could be someone in your energy. Okay, being trapped in your thoughts, um, feeling like you can't move forward. So you guys, also you guys, this Eight of Cups here, it could be. Um, a person you never really got to know. Like you moved away from a situation before you actually really got to know a person. Um, and you might be trapped in your head about it now. Or someone around you is is trapped in their head. Spirit, clarify getting to know each other in the Eight of Cups for Pisces. Clarify getting to know each other in the Eight of Cups for Pisces. <laughs> yeah okay so we got the nine of pentacles and we have the knight of swords yeah do you see how he's running here you got the hell out of dodge from someone <laughs> pisces you left somebody alone quick fast and in a hurry and i feel like it, it was someone that um like i said you were you were in the process of getting to know and you never and you never really got to know them um you may have stepped away from them to focus on your work, but this could also be them just really finding you attractive. You might just be really attractive to them as well. Y'all, the Eight of Swords is again at the bottom of the deck. Yes, yeah, somebody, somebody is trapped in their head, like, to the extreme. Like, somebody is addicted to negative thinking. Addictive, addicted to replaying thoughts in their head over and over and over again. I am going to clarify, though. Spirit, clarify playfulness for... Pisces and love. There's that train. Spirit clarified playfulness for Pisces and love. <sighs> yeah, I'm not doing all this, but some very interesting cards, I will say. <laughs> Why do y'all keep getting these big books? There we go. There we go. Yes, spirit. Okay, so we got the two of pentacles here and the three of wands. Yeah, I feel like you guys are just kind of like, this, this is y'all. I feel like this is you guys just kind of sitting, waiting to go out and have fun. This is three. Oh, yeah. You guys got three, the three of wands, three of pentacles, and the two of pentacles. So listen. Um, how the hell did I get this card out of this deck? Oh my gosh, y'all. Oh, this card wasn't even in the right deck. So yeah, this is supposed to be here. <laughs> so I feel like, I feel like you guys, I feel like I got a frog in my throat. I feel like you guys need to, um, with these two threes here and this two of pentacles, you guys probably need to start playing the field. Pisces. You guys need to start, um, dating and seeing what's out there. You know, get on out the ass. See what's out there, Pisces. Very clarify finances and career. I feel like for a lot of you, yeah, I knew this car was coming. I knew this car was coming. The two of wands, y'all. Yeah. I wonder if for some of you, is you you so worried about finances and work that this this is you while everybody's out having fun. This is you sitting at the window looking at everybody have fun and go to parties and go on dates and you just kind of sitting here like but my money's not right oh boo -hoo. i get it pisces but you know go out and have some fun i'm not saying go out and, and you know buy bottles and and all this other stuff i'm just saying go out and have some fun even if it's just like once a month you know to get your mind off of whatever whatever um, financial stresses you may be having right now. Spirit clarify a codependency and eight of swords. Yeah, the Knight of Pentacles. Whew. Well, whatever whatever thought processes you're having, the fools on the bottom, whatever thought processes you're having, um, um. Pisces, 
I see that you're slowly getting out of it. This can also be you guys have someone around you that um, is wants to offer you this new beginning, but they're moving very, very slowly because they're in their head about it uh something may have happened between you two and they're replaying what happened in their head over and over and over again this could also be you pisces excuse me that's replaying what happened over and over and over again in your head okay this could also be why you're, you're not really getting out of the house um for you with this person your work and your finances may be maybe being affected by um, this thought process of whatever you guys are doing. Spirit, what else does Pisces need to know regarding their love life? What else does Pisces need to know regarding their love life? What else does Pisces need to know regarding their love life? What else does Pisces need to know? No way, y'all. <laughs> the ace of wands comes out again yeah this is supposed to be out okay so with this ace of wands here um this is you guys lighting up some type of passion and desire find find a hobby that you're passionate about find something that you like to do um so you can get your sexy back Pisces, not saying that you lost it, okay? Don't be in the comments talking about, I didn't lose shit, you know? But listen, you know, <laughs> get get your sexy on. Like, you know, find something that is, that you love. What, what's something that you love to do, Pisces? Cause, because listen, this, this side hustle that you create could turn into something big. Could, could turn into, into a, another um, source of income. Spirit, clarify the Ace of Wands. Clarify the Ace of Wands. Spirit is telling me to change the decks. Y'all, the Knight of Pentacles is on. <laughs> okay, wow. Yeah, some of you guys is moving. You have somebody in your energy that's moving hella slow. Or this could be you, Pisces. This could be you. Spirit, clarify the Ace of Wands. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it, y'all. Listen when I tell you guys. Clarifying the Ace of Wands, I have the Queen of Pentacles, y'all. I told y'all, whatever this, this passion you have that you're just sitting on, that you're just dragging your feet on, it is, it's going to put you in a good um, place financially. But you got to start putting, you got to start putting in the work. The Three of Wands behind the Queen of Pentacles. You got to start uh, putting things in motion. The Three of Wands can be putting, starting to put things in motion. Okay. You also have Three of Wands here under playfulness as well. You have Three of Wands here twice. So you kind of need to start putting some stuff in motion. Okay. And then we have the Fool. You guys, we keep seeing this card. We keep seeing the Fool. It hasn't popped out yet, but well, until now. Um, but you guys got to take this leap. You got to take the leap. This could be love related too. You might have somebody that, that you like, that you kind of scoping, that you in your head about, and you don't know if you should approach. Spirit is saying that it's going to be, it's going to pay off. Whatever it is, it's going to pay off. The side hustle that you're, um, I feel like for a lot of you guys, it's money related. Okay. Um, whatever side hustle you have or side passion that you have that you've been putting it off, Get on it, okay? Because it is going to pay off for you, okay? If you if you put in the work, it, it won't be over uh, overnight success, but it will um, bring you some some type of abundance, okay, Pisces. So yeah, that y'all's reading it really didn't have much to do with love, but hey, it happens, okay. Um, I appreciate y'all watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for the likes, subscribes, love offerings, all that good stuff. And until next time, y'all, peace out.